this was kind of awkward for both of us. Hi, this is Pat with Pat's Two Cents. Peter and I went out today. We had a wonderful time serving God. Peter's my adopted baby brother, by the way. Now, we went to Stater Brothers. We went to Target. We went to Carl's Jr. <laughs> we went all over the place. And we just prayed for people who looked like they needed prayer. Just, we asked if we could pray, and we prayed for them. So, what I want to share with you is how invigorating that was to take the church out of the four walls. Now, we're not that experienced in evangelistic outreach like that. My main evangelistic experience is 13 to 15. 13 to 15 years, somewhere in between there, of prison ministry. And that is a, ha, oh, I love that ministry. So this was kind of awkward for both of us. But we did it. That's the main thing. We did it. And it's not by our power. It's not by our might. It's not by our personality. It's not by our skill set. It's by His Spirit, saith the Lord. And that is the strength we went in, the strength and the might of our God. So, I just want to share with you, it was invigorating. I hope it inspires you to get out. And on top of that, I would like to have you agree with us in prayer. Maybe when you get alone in your hours of prayer, include a name of a young lady who's fighting for her life right now in the hospital. She's due for surgery, but they must wait because the surgery can be life-threatening in her condition. She's got appendicitis, but her abdominal organs are all swollen just like the appendix. So that makes it extremely dangerous, life-threatening. And I ask you to pray a rebuke against death in the name of Jesus. Pray a rebuke against Complications against pain, against fear. You hear what I'm saying? This is a young lady in her teens now. Her name is Jamila. Prayer rebuke against infection. And I don't remember if I said complications, senior moment. So pray against that and pray for life and total healing. Now what we're asking God for is a miracle of healing. The kind that totally eliminates the need for surgery. You listening? So that's what we're asking you for. Peter and I both could not get that young lady off of our minds. So I'd like you to do the same. Pray for them. Gird them up. Mama Sita's having a hard time. When she was telling us, she could barely get it out. And then she took off into the store so we wouldn't see her break down. So I ask you, please, pray for her daughter, Jamila. Thank you very much. And I must say, in case you're wondering, uh, I thank my brother for the camera he bought me. He bought me this camera, and Peter will be on this, on the videotape. I still don't know how to get it to focus correctly, so I'm still working out the kinks. But in the meantime, I just want to say thank you, Paul, for blessing me and my ministry with the extra equipment you blessed me with. Thank you. And for the rest of you, thank you for your prayers for Jamila. God bless you. And think of doing the same thing. You don't have to know what you're doing. God knows what he's doing. All we have to do is go in the power of his might. Amen? Amen. Yes, why do we need the Lord Jesus Christ, my little baby brother Peter? Before I, I grew up in a Catholic background, <laughs> upbringing, and uh, we knew of the Lord Jesus Christ, but we never had like that relationship. And when I was going through a lot of stuff, you know, the Lord came and found me. And what I realized as years gone by, as I gave my life to the Lord that the Lord is life mm -hmm. and the 
thing about walking with the Lord is that we get to know that the more and more that like everything is about the Lord and we don't even understand it you know the, the air we breathe you know the way we are the life that he's given us um, the way that we feel about things you know the love and the desire to be loved all stem from God mm-hmm. and you don't ever like in my those times where I didn't have the Lord really I was walking with the Lord um, I always had a yearning in my heart uh, a hole in the heart that wasn't fulfilled and Jesus filled that mm-hmm and it's not something that you can replace with anything even though I still deal with a lot of stuff that I gotta let go of um, the more and more I do the more and more I realize how much the Lord means to me right. and he means everything that I'm willing to give up my life for and the thing is that we mean everything to him that's why he gave us right. his life for us Right. And it's that relationship that we desire. You know, not just going to heaven, but it's the relationship that mm-hmm. we have. And that's basically why he created us. It's so that he can have a relationship with us. Yes. God doesn't need anything. Mm-hmm. But he desires to be loved back. Mm. You know, and that's the whole story of it all. The whole story of it all was that from the beginning, we fell out of love with God and chose our own way Mm -hmm. and the whole time throughout the history of mankind God was trying to bring us back to love him again and that's the story of of the whole thing is that Jesus was the answer to that Mm -hmm. the the one who came to bring us back to a a relationship with God Mm -hmm. and it's not about judgment it's not about holiness but it's about being able to be at one with each other. Yes. And the reason why God wants us to be holy is because He cannot be around sin. Right. And because He loves us so much, we He wants us to walk in that way. And it's a hard path because we're still living in sin, you know, we're still living in the flesh, but God is willing and able to do it much more than any place that's true happiness. True satisfaction. Yeah. That's why we need Jesus in our life. Yes, yes, I totally agree.